Hello friends, I am Dr. Amog Vaishampayan, Consultant Laparoscopic and General Surgeon practicing in Thane since last 10 to 12 years. You must have seen the last video about diabetes and its management. So today we are going to discuss one of the most common and dreadful complication of diabetes in the field of general surgery that is diabetic foot ulcers and gangrene. So now why does it occur? So diabetes leads to a pathophysiology called microangiopathy which affects smaller and medium sized blood vessels especially in the peripheral limbs which leads to poor circulation, neuropathy, callus formations, necrosis and gangrenes. So now how does this diabetic foot presents? It presents with most commonly with four things. One is ulcer that is a breach or a gap in the continuity of the skin or epithelium. Second is cellulitis. Cellulitis is basically infection or inflammation of the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Then third thing is abscess formation. That is there is a pus formation or a pus cavity is formed with beneath the skin and subcutaneous tissue. And lastly it is necrosis and gangrene. So you must have heard the term about gangrenes. But most of us don't know what is exactly the gangrene. Gangrene is basically death of a body part or a tissue because of absent blood flow. So now, as you must have uh, known that gangrene is one of the most dreadful thing to happen. So we must treat it as early as possible. So let's look at the management of the diabetic foot ulcers and gangrene. So before managing that, we have to carry out certain investigations. So as we know that since it is a diabetic foot, the most common management should be of the sugar levels. So for that, we have to carry out certain blood tests like fasting blood sugar levels, postprandial blood sugar levels and HbA1c. Apart from that, we have to carry out certain other blood tests like complete hemogram to check for hemoglobin, serum creatinine levels to check for renal functions and coagulation profiles. And some other blood tests are also necessary if we have to go in for surgery. So now also apart from the blood investigations, we have to carry out certain radiological investigations such as color Doppler. Now color Doppler is some form of sonography of the peripheral limbs wherein we look for the blood flow that is blood flow in the arteries, blood flow in the veins and also in the lymphatics. This is to rule out the causes such as peripheral vascular diseases that is atherosclerosis which is a term which many of us have heard and varicose veins which is also a common uh, disease. So if we have ruled the, those things out prior to managing of diabetic foot it makes our management easy. So now after we have carried out these radiological investigations we also have to rule out bony pathologies like osteomyelitis and for that we have to get x-ray of that limb or foot or the specific tools. Okay? So once we have carried out the investigations and we now proceed to the management. So now management differs from different categories of the presentations like it is different for ulcers, it is different for abscess and so on. So whenever we talk about abscess since it is a pus formation we have to carry out surgery that is incision and drainage of that abscess cavity and clear out the pus. When it comes to ulcers, ulcers and cellulitis, the primary management always starts with medical line of management wherein we go in for antibiotics, we go in for anti-inflammatory drugs if required analgesics and also the topical applications of certain ointments such as povidone iodine, cadoximer and papenuria certain ointments like this. So after use of these ointments we carry out medical debridement and if required the surgical debridement that is debridement is basically cleaning of the dead and necrotic tissue from the wound till we achieve a good uh, healthy tissue. So these debridements we have to carry on for especially for the ulcers and cellulitis if required and now we come to the most common and dreadful part of the diabetes that is gangrene so never ever managed gangrene at home do not hesitate to go and visit doctor as early as possible because gangrene can lead to very dreadful complications in the entire body such as septicemia so 
when it comes to gangrene obviously there are two types of gangrene so one is a wet gangrene and other is a dry gangrene wherein wet gangrene is associated with infective focus obviously the treatment for both is same it is surgery we have to remove the dead and necrotic part till we achieve a healthy body tissue and hence when it comes to a gangrene of the toe we have to carry out amputation of the toe or toes if they are gangrenous if the entire foot or a limb is gangrenous then we have to carry out certain forms of amputations like uh, uh, mid tarsal amputations uh, below knee amputations above knee amputations hind quadrant amputations and so on so lastly to summarize i would like to mention the main thing as since the root cause of all these things is diabetes please do not uh, hesitate to check your sugar levels regularly please do not take your sugar levels lightly because if you manage your sugar levels regularly you can avoid all these complications and many others as well and if at all you are suffering from any small wound however trivial it may sound to you please do not hesitate to visit doctor because these ulcers cellulitis abscesses can lead to many other complications and we should avoid formations of the gangrene so manage your sugar levels and avoid getting diabetes reach your foot thank you